You did forget but, to mention the, the uh, major downside to self-publishing. You do everything right, you, we're getting you've had it checked, and then it's a year later and no one's bought a single copy. We're getting to that. Okay. So, self-publishing, as I was saying, once you've got permission, you've got the font, you've got your cover, you've got it all, now you've got to print it. Where do you go? Well, there are a few routes. Um, one thing that you're going to miss at that point is you have to have an ISBN number. To be, have an ISBN number, you have to register a new company or find somebody who's willing to sell you one of theirs. A new one ISBN number, if you're a brand new company, $125. 10 costs you $250. 500 costs you $550. 1,000 costs you 1,000. The more you buy, the better, the more, the cheaper they get. Okay. Amazon will give you them. Will sell you them. Uh, Free. Where? Amazon. Create space. Create space. Oh, well, yeah, on Create Space. Automatically. But, but well, create, create Space. space. Okay. We're going to go through what the actual steps are. And we're going to go through them straight. All right? You've got um, your, you have your book written. You choose your cover. That's your art. That's your font. That's everything. Then you're going to use a template to design the layout and make sure you have cover bleed. This is stuff that you don't know about if you have never done this before. There are places that you can look it up online and there are also places online that will soak you. All right, they're called predators. They do have them in this industry, by a few of them. So um, there's a website called Editors and Predators that will tell you who they are. Great. Um, then you're gonna make sure that your spine has good spacing. All right, you've got your Title needs to be farther away from your name. Otherwise, this looks like it's an enemy's eyes eight also. That's a weird title. <laughs> All right? Have that difference. Have that space. If you want to do like AJ here and have a, th have a thing in the middle, that's fine. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah? Great. Um, Unless you're famous, your title should be bigger. Yes. Even if you aren't famous, we really think your title should well, be bigger. Well, like Jim, but anyway, really. But anyway. I'm going to have to stop you from talking for a few minutes because I need to get through this before I get kicked out. So, make sure your spine has good spacing. Um, you need to make sure that your company is down at the bottom. Um, and you need to make sure that you've got all of this right. You need to make up a few designs for your, co your cover and field test them. Show them to people on your website. Show them to people on Facebook. Show them to people Who can around read me you. the title of this book from the back row? Anybody? No. How about this one? Okay. Yep. How about this one? There you go. That's the sort of thing. Now, unfortunately, this one here is orange on, on yellow. It's going to be a little bit tricky. So make sure you field test. All right? Talk to people. Ask them what they think. Go to places like this and see what you got. Um, then write a teaser about the book on the back cover. Everybody has this. This is where you sell your book because people are going to pick this up because it's a pretty cover. And then they're going to look at the back. Everyone does it. So you need to draw that person in and you need to make sure that it's good. Again, use your social networking. Use your, your connections. Talk Go to back people. back to that person who is willing to give you an honest answer about how good your book is. Yeah, that's a good one. Then, like he says, you get an SBN, ISBN. You're going to put the ISBN on your book. Very important aspect. Don't forget that. <laughs> All right? You're also going to put it on the inside in the legal jargon page. You did include a legal jargon page, right? Okay, now we're going to write a legal jargon page. Okay? Now, the legal jargon is the inside of every commercially produced Copyrighted, book. produced. This is who, who did the cover art. This is what your ISBN number is. This is your publishing history. Okay? All of that stuff is on the inside cover of every book. This, this is there on purpose, including the disclaimer that says, hey, you can't sue me because you resemble this guy. This is fiction. I intended it as fiction. I didn't mean to resemble you. John Farmer. Yeah. Specific, even though I used your name and description. Um, <laughs> all right, in the legal jargon page, you've got this fictitious, uh, fictitious character disclaimer, your publishing history, your ISBN is repeated there in number form. 
your cover art credit, your copyright page, everything. Look at any commercially done book in your genre, at least four, and now redo your entire internal organs to match the new model that you've decided to go with. Trust me, this is the process. Um, you're going to add page numbers. You're going to think about appendixes for your books, such as glossaries and indexes. Pronunciation guides. Yeah. If now, Ber Berman is one of the names, make sure you say how to pronounce it. Yeah, whatever that was. Anyway, yeah, Mergadirin. Mergadirin. Yeah. Mergadirin. It has no vowels. Um, all right, so when you've got your, your stuff put together on that, then you have to put the entire thing in PDF format. You know this from doing Create Space. History work, now it's PDF. Now it's PDF. Hey, we're talking today. So, you're going to put the entire thing in PDF for a bit. Then you're going to learn how to swear like a sailor. This is a very important step. <laughs> Yar. Now, you are now going to swear like a sailor, sailor over how putting the P everything in PDF format changed everything. I went through 10 mm. PDF formats to get one that came anywhere close and then she emailed it to somebody who did it in the first try. Yeah, that's it. Actually, I, was, I liked it quite a bit. I just went to Kinko's. Yeah, sometimes, now, now if you're dealing with professional software, sometimes that works, but I'll tell you right now, Scott Brown had to have the font for this in order to have this cover page come out. That's the because thing I all we that. got was just a plain font. And that's no, not what we were going for. I made sure they cut it to fit too. Mm -hmm. Now, you've got your, your, your PDF, you're going to fix your PDF, you're going to figure out how you want to sell your book. Kindle, Nook, all of those things are going to be able to be done without costing you much. Okay? There might be a little setup fee. Set up fee. It shouldn't be big. If you're paying $500 for somebody to put it in Kindle format, you're being ripped off. Yeah, don't do it. All right? It's a quick Create space, button. yeah. Create space does it automatically. Because it's a digital copy that they print from, therefore they put it in digital copy right away. It's on Amazon at that minute. As soon as you upload it and they digitize it, it's on Amazon. Um, now you're going to upload it and advertise your book on your social networking sites. Now all of that is all you. Yes, you can enlist help. Yes, you can talk to people. Yes, you can get those, those editings. But I'll tell you right now, it's all on you. Now, one of the other things that happens in the situation is you are getting your book out there on your time, your energy, your money. You're probably working 40 hours a week. You're probably working 40 hours a week, and you don't write it. Because you're spending all your time selling. You've got to go out. Heck, we're, we're traveling to how many cons this year? 12, 13? Yeah. And okay. that's not counting the local cons that we were able to drive from our house and go back home every morning. Mm -hmm. We are traveling, to, next week we're traveling from Boise, Idaho to Minnesota. Private. Picking for up working on the way. For a weekend event, yeah, picking up working. So we, gotta, we don't get to go through Montana to make it a nice short trip. No, 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 we gotta go through Salt Lake. Yep. Nice long, long trip. But that means she's not writing. Yep. Now, one of the things you have to do to be a writer is you have to write. Okay? So don't think this is a discouragement. All right? Because what this is, is an opportunity. Now you know what it's going to be. You know what's coming at you. Okay? You've been there. You've looked through this. You've gone through it. You've printed out 200 copies. You're selling them, you're giving them away, you are making connections, people are going to ask you for your next book. They are. All right? I'm so glad she had her second book printed. Because what happened well, written. was... Written. Because what happened was that we originally started with a book, and they went, that's going to end up being 800 pages. We can't find that. Can you cut that in half? Unfortunately, she'd already put two books together because she was worried it's too short. So we just got to break them apart and say, hey, we're ready, yay. Yeah. Now I have to go through and like take out the fact that it's not chapter 43 <laughs> starting the next book. But, um, and this is coming at you from a writer's perspective right now. All right? You have a phone. You do. You probably have a phone on you. And 
if you go to the bathroom, your phone goes with you, usually. And are you really, really needing to text your friend right then? Take a minute, write down an email to yourself about the idea you have just come up with, and use that time to do some writing. When you are driving in the car, going to work, have a digital recorder and record your ideas. Every single Microsoft Word program has a microphone set up for you to dictate, and it will type. The more you do it, the better it gets at deciphering your words. It can be done. Write down your ideas. Speak out your ideas. Get this stuff together. Okay? Make it happen. Now, once you've decided on all this, and you're going to go through it, you have to pay for it all. It's going to be $6 a book if you find a good place, $10 if you find no one that's not so great. And that's for this book right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking about the dictation, mm -hmm. you know, is, I know they give you something to read. But is it will, like you can read your own text? Because, of course, yeah. just if you're writing your own your sci fi stuff, the dictation it's be software some is some words that are in the English language. Sure. So. Yeah. The, 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 the dictation for, uh, uh, stuff is, in fact, a learning program. It will get up to the point where you can get about 95% of the words mean, that you say. Now, if you have a problem, spell it. Spell it out. You know what your word sounds like and looks like? Spell it out. Okay. Like I'm using Greg and you know, and that's, and it's not no understand words to the point where you can read your own text. Yeah. yeah. But it will get down 95% of the stuff the more that you read. So, okay. so you can always do that. Back, back to, uh, so you're going to pay for everything. Like I said, $6 a book if you find a good spot. I've seen, I've seen some that go for this book here sell for or be printed for eleven if you find the wrong place. Charge by the page. Some places they all charge by the page because each page takes ink, each page takes paper. They all charge by the page, but some of them charge a lot more than others. Mm -hmm. And there's setup fees that some will charge you that others won't. I mean, the the whole thing. Research, research, research. Look for who you're going through. Mm -hmm. Take a few minutes. Call up the company. Yep. Um, personally, I we have three different printers that we found that are good, solid, reliable printers, and each one does a different thing. One of them will print over a thousand copies at a reasonable price. But if we try to do two hundred, then we're looking at twelve, thirteen dollars for a book that should cost us six. Yep. If you're printing two hundred copies, <coughs> then we've got another company. <coughs> If you want 25, create space is awesome. Yeah, and we very much like it. Um, um, but each one is different. They have different strengths, different weaknesses. Um, you know, the, the thousand copy one, those are just gonna look better because they do print, they, they do the full plate printing and it looks professional, high quality, amazing work. But because they're charging you for the, uh, for each plate, they have to make it brand new. Mm -hmm. If you do five copies, that's a huge waste of plate. Yeah. So you gotta put a digital printer. And again, it's, it's not quite as good, but it's still a good quality if you've got it's so all three And steps. it gives you a physical copy if, you phys if a physical copy is what you want. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of shameless self-promotion right now. So please, uh, I apologize. So now would be a good time to. So if you're not interested in, in anything I might have to say here, um, you can leave, but we went through the steps. We've done it all, and I, I, I know what needs done and when it needs done by to get it where we're going. So one of the things we looked at when we first started was, well, we can buy one ISBN number, or we can buy 10, and save us, I mean, it's gonna cost us a little more up front, but it'll save us a lot more in the long run. And, and my not, book alone has six different books in it. But that's only six. Which means I've got ISBNs to spare, so I'm willing to sell ISBNs and bring people under our label. We like to call ourselves a, an assisted publisher, an assisted self-publishing company called Fantastic Journeys Publishing. And what we do is you're going to be paying for everything anyway. Why not let somebody help you? 
by yes. putting a label that's not your own on a, your book, it tells the world, somebody other than my mother read this and liked it. <laughs> um, and it gives somebody else to help you do the legwork. Like I said, we're traveling to 12 different cons around the western United States and going as far as Chicago. I think you're traveling to Florida. I'm going to Florida in, in April. In April. Which means that's markets that chances are you personally can't get to. And we will take your book with us and sell it. I didn't publish this. I didn't publish this, but I'm selling them today. I'm willing to do the same for anyone, anyone and everyone who has a book that they want to sell. Um, we charge you back the price that you paid for the book. So whatever you, you paid back, for that book plus, get printed. Plus half of whatever the book sells for over that. So say you charge $16 and you cost you six, <coughs> you get 11, I get five. And that's for me packing it, hauling it, and pitching it. You didn't have to do a thing for that $11 after you got it printed. But, if you, want to, if you want to come with us, we'll promote you the crap out of you, but you get every penny with, that you're, as long as you're there with us. Um, we have editors who are willing to work because they're starting out and wanting to get credit. We've got cover artists. We've got every step of the way we have somebody who can help you, and we would love to hear from you. And, and a commercial. <laughs> we do. We do. do. FJPublishing.com. Um, and I have some business cards up here as well, uh, if anybody's interested in them. But personally, what I would prefer um, that you have as a takeaway on this is that you now know the steps. You know what it takes to do your own publishing and to do your own books. So you're not going to be going in with your eyes closed. You're not going to, it's not going to be as easy for someone to take you. When you go in and you're not absolutely certain of where you stand or what you're doing, we, we've we watched people. We, we love this guy. He's great. He's a, a member of the Air Force right now. Which and is he's why he's active not here. Duty, which is why he's not here. But he went with a very common online self-publishing group, and they charged him out the butt for this book. And they've done nothing in since... He, he put this out for the first time in 2008. They've never sold a copy. It has nothing to them. But he paid a lot more than he should have. Yeah. yeah. He paid ten seventy per book to print this. So, this book, six. Same size, same number of pages, six. Yeah. And as you can see, they're all conveniently sized for the back of any toilet. <laughs> By design. A lot of paper. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not for that use. <laughs> but you know what? But you know what? Hey, you bought it. You do you whatever, you whatever you want to. Whatever you want to. <laughs> exactly. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the process or what we do? Did you tell them that they don't actually have to copyright it if they don't all pay for it? Honestly, yeah. no. Because the moment you've written it, you've copyrighted it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That's very true. And you can always do the formats copyright where you send a physical copy of it to you to yourself. Put a thumb drive in, in an envelope and mail it to yourself if you don't want to print it all out. And put it in a safety deposit box. It's got the date, the timestamp, and everything else on it. You know, this is your work. Yes, there was a... Yes? Oh, I just have a question for curiosity's sake. Okay. Um, in regards to the ISB... ISBN. ISBN. I was like, I'm not missing a letter there. Um, what's that in relation to it is the international um, book number, okay. so it's so that the the book can be cataloged along with every other book in the world. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's kind of like if you were going to the Library of Congress. You're yes. It's also with the barcode. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, the barcode um, will have it right there at the top. The, the barcodes are actually a separate cost. Barcodes cost $25, and the ISBNs, whatever you pay for. Um, so, so barcodes are not something you would get for your electronic book. No one's going to be scanning their computer for you. Um, but if it's a physical copy, we do recommend that you get a, a barcode. And uh, that makes it so that you can 
have it scanned fairly easy. People can scan your book with the apps on their phone and buy it on In fact, Amazon. if you talk about marketing ideas, uh, if you're doing ebooks, get business cards with the with a barcode on it and that takes a link to your site. Mm -hmm. Or those uh, those those tag things, the little the, yeah. looking things. Mm -hmm. The QR codes. Yeah, QR codes. Those are fabulous. I, we've got several people that we know that that's what they've done with bookmarks and things like that. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering, uh, also for your uh, curiosity's sake, um, what would you say is the easiest process when it comes to writing? You know, like writing beginning, middle, end. Boy, that is <laughs> that is a whole other panel. Tomorrow morning at eight o'clock when we have coffee. That's a personal <laughs> preference, right? Over that's there. A because yeah. everybody has a different method. Um, Tanya is what they call a discovery method. The characters tell her what's going on, and she has occasionally had outbursts of, you're doing what? No, I can't. Okay. And then she gets in trouble if she doesn't. They're going to kill me. Um, yeah. um, there is a... Uh, Jim Butcher uses the dictation method. He writes out an overview, an uh, outline of, this is the arc that my story is going to take, and just writes it and goes. Mm -hmm. um, I do reactionary, where I uh, give the characters each their own personality, and then I give them something to respond to. So th there are a lot of different methods. Find one that works for you. If you, if what you're doing isn't working, try something else. Uh, I've just heard so many people say there's a right way and a wrong way. No, there's no right way and wrong way when it comes to being creative. Um, when it comes to doing sewing, there's a right way and a wrong way. All right, that's a whole different story. But um, but if you are being creative about something, that's like someone saying, I'm sorry, you're you're painting that that unicorn wrong. Real unicorns don't look anything yeah. like that. It's like uh, uh, my recommendation is try a language you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try a language. Yeah, other question. Yeah, I do. Okay, what about um, physical publishing versus just online? Because I know, like Brandon Sanderson, Warbreak, mm -hmm. he's done both. Yes. Sure. What's is there a pro versus con? Um. Okay. That is right now. I'll tell you, the market is shifting. The world is changing to electronic. If you don't do electronic copy. You're missing a whole section of the market, and it's you're missing out. If you don't do physical, you might be missing a part of the part but, of the. But, well, when I'm talking about online, I'm, I'm talking about like it's just freeware. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking there, about. There, there are things. Um, do you guys know uh, um, Girl Genius? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Phil and Kaya Folio used to charge for that. It used to be a pay site. And no, then, it wasn't a that they printed it. Okay. They would, they, it anyway, physical... it used to be something that they charged for. And then they made the decision to go ahead and go to free. And they made four times the money in the first year, quarter, something like that. It was, it, and you're sitting there going, wait a minute, you made four times the money of free? It's like, no, 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 no. The product was out there getting people, reading it all the time, hooked on the, the storylines, hooked on the characters, hooked on the Now they're buying swag. He's doing that. Now, yeah, they buy the little trilobite necklaces and the you know, squeezy foam wrenches. The marketing. The graphic novels. Yeah, the marketing is huge. Right. Merchandising. Merchandising, exactly. Right. Uh, in terms Thank you, of Mr. Lucas. One of the things that you'll find Gross. a lot with uh, electronic books is 99 cents. Yeah. You know, no author is making back their time investment for a 99 cent book. And it screams to me, this is a self-published piece of crap that nobody else has ever looked at for 99 cents. I, I've seen people who will put 99 cents for the first book to get you hooked, and that's a fine way to go. But we're charging six for, to be honest, that's probably a little bit cheap for the amount of effort and energy that went into it. Um, don't sell yourself short. Yeah, There's business math versus guilt math when it comes to pricing your things, and it doesn't really matter what it is. You're creating a product out of your own soul. And you are taking that chunk, putting it in physical form for other people to touch, all right? You feel guilty charging them for this because you don't think it's necessarily worth that. But that's an entirely different story. And more importantly, we'll talk to you about that later when we have time because we've got a positive call. You've got one last question. Yeah, that's yes. So, would an electronic book sometimes they like it? They like it so much, but they won't buy the paper version. Right. What was that? Yeah. Um, an electronic copy, like uh, 
uh, for the Kindles, or you can go on uh, uh, Nook or Bookmado and do a Nook. Uh, and electronic copies is a really good way to go, and a lot of people really, really like them. You can read your, you can read novels on your phone right now. So um, there's so much that's that's going on in the digital world. In fact, even CreateSpace only does digital copy and they'll print what you ask them to do and you get on Amazon instantly because we live in an electronic age, all right? Likewise, if you don't do audiobooks, you're missing out on a very large market, okay? If your story is too angsty, um, you're missing out on a pretty big market, you know? Do understand what you're presenting and how you're coming off in all your situations. Now that said, where don't necessarily worry about hitting it, making something everybody's going to love. Yeah, there's no way to make something everybody's going to love. Mm. Even there, I know people who hate Harry Potter. Yeah. I don't understand it myself. I don't either. But you know, there are people who do it. You did forget one thing with the business aspect of this, though. What's that? Uh, generally, a, a self-publisher or whoever you go through, for example, create space. Mm -hmm. We'll be taking a chunk of whatever you decide to charge for the book. See, so for example, this thing sells for twenty-five bucks on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I get ten. They take uh, they take out of publishing, you know, to pay for publishing the book and for having it on their site, stuff like that. Okay, uh, you're, that's that's not a good way to go, and we'll have to have a conversation after this um, because my book is going to be available through Amazon on CreateSpace, and it will be sixteen dollars. So, and I will be getting. You know, quite Six. a chunk of that. Um, no, because what we've what we've got is a, a thing called a pro plan. Because we oh, know yeah. that we're going to be. That's if you watch out the extra forty bucks. Yes, and but I'll with all right of now. the stuff that we're doing, it actually makes sense for us. It doesn't make sense for everybody. So you definitely need to look at what you want to do. Anyway. Anyway, but we are thank available. You. Oh, please, uh, please talk to we us. We are available at Artist Sally all weekend. Um, if anybody has any further questions, um, and sorry. If you want a book, uh, business card, please come see me. I always do enjoy the look on the panel of space when I am, I'm in there and I know what I'm talking about. Oh, it's not, it's not a problem. It's just a matter of when we have a, a limited amount of time and we can't keep talking to you. We have to I know. It, it's just like, uh, you know, the Shinto thing or anything like that. I know what I'm talking about. So they're surprised as hell when I, you know, I'm reading stuff they don't even know about. It, you know, and that's what all people yeah, like. Everywhere is that. Uh, You're also, always going to find something to say about the digital thing and dictating all that. I work at home with no phone at all of any kind. And my computer was in 1998. And this is my publishing page. Well, it's awesome that you can do that on set. Right. Uh, Thank you, of, Mr. Lucas. One of the things that you'll find a lot with uh, electronic books 
is 99 cents. Yeah. You know, no author is making back their time investment for a 99 cent book. And it screams to me, this is a self-published piece of crap that nobody else has ever looked at for 99 cents. I, I've seen people who will put 99 cents for the first <coughs> book to get you hooked, and that's a fine way to go. But we're charging six for, um, for that enemy's eyes, and to be honest, that's probably a little bit cheap for the amount of effort and energy that went into it. Um, don't sell yourself short. Yeah. There's business math versus guilt math when it comes to pricing your things, and it doesn't really matter what it is. You're creating a product out of your own soul. You are taking that chunk, putting it in physical form for other people to touch. All right? You feel guilty charging them for this because you don't think it's necessarily worth that. But that's an entirely different story. And more importantly, we'll talk to you about that later when we have time because we've got a five minute call. We've got one last question. Yeah, yes. last thing. So, would an electronic book sometimes if they fly it like liquid so much will they both buy the Piper version? That's right. Nice. What was that? Yeah, um, a, an electronic copy like uh, uh, for the Kindles or you can go on uh, um, Nook or Bookmado and do a Nook. And electronic copies is a really good way to go and a lot of people really, really like them. You can read your, you can read novels on your phone right now. So, um, there's so much that's that's going on in the digital world. In fact, even Create Space only does digital copy and they'll print what you ask them to do. And you get on Amazon instantly because we live in an electronic age. All right? Likewise, if you don't do audiobooks, you're missing out on a very large market. Okay? If your story is too angsty, um, you're missing out on a pretty big market. You know? Do understand what you're presenting and how you're coming off in all your situations. No, that said, where don't you're necessarily worry about hitting it, making something everybody's gonna love. Yeah, that there's is. no way to make something everybody's gonna love. Mm. Even there, I know people who hate Harry Potter. Yeah, I don't understand it myself. I don't either. But you know, there are people who do it. You did forget one thing with the business aspect of this, though. What's that? Uh, generally, a, a self-publisher or whoever you go through, for example, Create Space. Mm -hmm. We'll be taking a chunk of whatever you decide you to charge for the book. So you, for example, this thing sells for twenty five bucks on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I get ten. They take uh, they take out of publishing you know, to, to pay for publishing the book and for having it on their site and stuff like that. Okay, uh, you that's that's not a good way to go. We'll have to have a conversation after this. Um, because my book is gonna be available through Amazon on Create Space and it will be sixteen dollars. So and I will be getting Quite a chunk of that. Um, no, because what we what we've got is a, a thing called a pro plan. Because we oh, know yeah. that we're going to be. That's if you want to shut off the extra forty bucks. Yes, and but with all right of now. the stuff that we're doing, it actually makes sense for us. It doesn't make sense for everybody. So you definitely need to look at what you want to do. Anyway. Anyway, but we're available. All oh, please, uh, please talk to we us. We are available at Artist Sally all weekend. Um, if anybody has any further questions. Uh, and sorry. If you want a book, uh, business card, please come see. It's too good to look up a panel of space when I'm in there and I don't know what I'm talking about. It's not, it's not a problem. It's when we have a, a limited amount of time and we can't keep talking to you, we have to talk to you. It's just like, uh, you know, the Shinto thing or anything like that. I know what I'm talking about, so yeah. they're surprised as hell by, you know, I can find you stuff they don't even know about. It, you know, and that's what all parents want. Everywhere is that. You're always going to find something. You said about the digital thing, dictating all that. I work at home with no phone at all of any kind. And my computer was from 1998. Okay. <laughs> and this is my publishing page. Well, it's awesome if you can put that on such low. Uh, um, I hold signs in my cars. So.